Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a melting basket. I actually filmed this on Saturday and I had my window unit on and uh, you, it was just way too loud. So I'm refilming it. Um, yeah, so my basket, you guys, is so full. Like it's, it's for me, like this is a full basket. Um, I've been doing the bear, I've done the bear thing, like a bear basket where basically I have a lot less in there, which prompts me to get through a lot more. But um, I really am enjoying the variety, okay? So let's just get started. I'm gonna start with scoops. I don't know why I like doing that, but we are. All right, fresh picked strawberry, strawberry jam, and strawberry pound cake from L3. I absolutely love this one. It, to me, I mean, I don't know if it's fair to compare it to the Ant's Jam, but I, when I smelled them like next to each other, this one was much stronger on cold and on warm, and I love it. Uh, this is Sweet Lavender, Pink Sugar, Vanilla Bean Noel, and Twisted Peppermint. This is an amazing bedtime scent. I really love that one. This one is Sugared Violet Petals, Mallow, White Elephant Exchange. So my friend Beth here on YouTube, she has talked about this scent like multiple times. And uh, I'm so glad I got it. I actually ended up getting two of these because I'm crazy, but I'm glad I did because this is so good. I'm like, I don't want to say I'm shocked, like that sounds rude. I'm just saying like, I guess I just didn't even really know what I was expecting, you know? But it's so pretty. It's like a perfumey, soft, creamy floral. I don't even know. It's just really good though. I love that one a lot. All right, I think that's it for the... Uh, big scoops. This one is Shave Cream, Pink Sugar, and Blue Sugar. Now, I love this one. I was actually shocked because um, I didn't know what to expect really with this one either, but it's like a clean, crisp, fresh, musky, sweet scent. It's almost like icy, like not like ice, but you know what I'm saying? Like, like crisp, I don't know. I could just put it on my nose, but I really love this one too. So um, I'm enjoying that one. You know, I was, I put this in here. I think I'm gonna take it out. It's strawberry, raspberry, guava, and margarita from L3. This was a customer creation. I think I'm gonna take this out because it's full. It's a full scoop. And this is kind of a lot for me to commit to right now because I'm, you know, I'm still melting summer stuff, but I don't want that much of something because I want to spread it out like throughout the year. So I think I'm going to end up melting that in the spring probably is what I'll do. All right. This one is a Bitty Betty Loaf from L3. It's Peeps, Fresh Picked Strawberries, Twinkies, and Fruity Pebbles. This one, for whatever reason, I don't know, um, maybe I should have melted it sooner, but it's not super... Um, it's not as strong as I feel like I remember it when I first got it. So, but that's, I mean, it's not like the end of the world, but I, I do like it. Um, all right. So I have two mini melters. I'm curious, did you guys go in on the RTS, what was it, Friday? Yeah. Um, I definitely did. I, um, I'm really excited to get my order. I, it's been, officially, it's been two months since I've ordered and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do it. All right, so this one is Moon Mario on the line, which is Fresh Laundry, American Cream, Pink Sugar, Zen, and Clean Masculine. <coughs> Excuse me. I like this, I don't love it. It's, it's a nice, it's good, I like it. It's just not really something that I'm wanting right now, I guess, I'm not sure, but I've been pretty much just doing that in like the bathroom and the bedroom. And it's good, I like it, it's not the best. This one is peanut butter and jelly cupcakes. This is peanut butter, cupcakes, strawberry jam, Swiss meringue buttercream frosting, and crushed peanuts. So I was watching Lacey talk about this. Like she says she feels like she gets like a chocolate note. And I 
honestly get what she's saying. I guess for me, my mind is painting this out to be like a peanut butter with peanuts mixed with like a buttercream frosting. I don't get any strawberry jam in here whatsoever, none. On cold or on warm. And I thought, you know, I decided to let it cure. I mean, I let pretty much all my stuff cure, but I let that one cure for probably at least, yeah, I mean, it would have been at least two months. Probably like, yeah, eight to 10 weeks I let that cure and it smelled the same when I first got it and when I warmed it. So just kind of a heads up. Okay, let's do, I have one random scent here, speaking of peanut butter. Peanut butter jar, smooth, creamy peanut butter. This is from Vintage Chic Scents. Um, so that Rose Girls peanut butter and jelly cupcakes one throws well. I mean, I would say like a seven, seven and a half out of 10. It's good. This one throws like a negative 100 out of 10. I don't get any scent from this. And no offense, but I'm kind of over vintage chic. I have some scents that I like, like I have some fall scents that um, I'm really excited to warm, but she is, I mean, no offense to her, but her stuff is like very expensive and it's not like it's that great. No offense. Anyway. Okay, I'm gonna do um, Sassy Girl. And y'all, just because I said that, it doesn't mean that that's, the truth it's just my opinion okay <laughs> all right so this is sassy girl aroma beach nights night on the beach a warm blend of toasted marshmallow sea salt breeze and s'mores love this i'm kind of savoring the last bit i have because this is the last beach nights blend i have in my collection which is unfortunate but i love that one this one i warmed it's kind of coming down here um, Fruity Kruger. It's Crunchberry, Blackberry, Whipped Cream, and Vanilla Bean Noel. So I warmed this on, I believe, Saturday, I think. And this smells to me like the end of like a Crunchberry cereal box. So you get like the, the dustiness, you know what I mean? At the bottom of it, I don't know. It smells really good. Um, I love that one. I would say this through like an eight out of 10 on my open concept. This one I do not like. It's Mellow Lavender. It's a sweet, relaxing marshmallow and vanilla with a touch of lavender. I get like no scent from this. It smells to me like the lavender marshmallow from Bath and Body Works, but it's like almost non-existent. Like I can't really smell it. So that's a disappointment especially since I bought two, but whatever. All right, this is blueberry pie. Juicy blueberries, spice, sugar, warm vanilla, and dough. So I like this one on cold. I love the color of this brittle. Um, it's not anything like, you know, earth shattering to me. Like it's not, you know, anything crazy unique, but I mean, look how pretty that is. I mean, yeah, it's good. It's just, to me, it's not really anything different than a typical blueberry bakery. And that's just my opinion, but what do I expect? It's blueberry pie, okay? All right, so those are the brittles that I have currently. Let's do, oh, I forgot to show you guys. This is in the back, that's why I didn't see it. This I got from Natalie. It's from K Scented Melts. It's black chamomile, cocoa butter cashmere, and boardwalk marshmallow clouds. You know, I didn't really think a whole lot of this when I first smelled it, but whenever this goes on a warmer, it is so pretty. It's so pretty. So the main note to me is cocoa butter cashmere, but the black chamomile in this is kind of like making it kind of like a musky vibe. And the BMC I think helps freshen it maybe. I don't know, but this is really pretty. I've really enjoyed this in my um, bathroom and bedroom. And I have like four pieces left. I love these cuts that she does. They're like perfect for a melt. Like I love them. So, and I will be making an order with Kay here at some point. I definitely want to get her holiday scents. 
and actually while I'm talking about it, I'm curious, what, what are some really good holiday scents um, from K that you like? I know I want Holiday Drive. I've heard everybody and their mom talk about it. And um, it sounds like something that I would love. Uh, but yeah, I want my like Christmas ordering. I want K to be a focus. And honestly, you guys, I'm probably good on fall wax because I did order again from Rose Girls and I ordered from Super Tarts on Thursday. So, and I only got like a couple of scents from Super Tarts for fall, but um, mostly Rose Girls. And I'll be good because I already have some. And honestly, fall is such a short lived time period for where I live. So, I don't know. I, I mean, I could change my mind tomorrow. Okay. All right. Let's. Let's do super tarts, and then I'm gonna show you guys the bags that I have, and then I'll show you the clams. So this one is Jessica Jones, and I would like to finish this because I don't have a whole lot left. This is a BAM. Um, beautiful, it's blackberry and rain, I love it. It's a beautiful scent. And then this one is Beast, which I also love. Beast is blueberry and cornbread. And come next year, or not next year, um, if she does her Wax Wednesday thing, first of all, I'm not going to go as crazy as I did this last time. Um, but I was actually watching Nicole Perry's video um, on TV. I mean, I stream YouTube, you know. And she was saying that she's wanting to just go to Clams, and I'm kind of on her page. I don't love giant bags of stuff. I don't know. It's just... But, you know, watch me order one tomorrow. Um, and sometimes I do like to do it, but I guess with super tarts, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I like the clams. I just feel like they're just easier to store and I don't know. But anyways, I don't mind them. I actually like the half bams. I just feel like they're easier. You know, this is the size comparison. So yeah, but anyways, Beast is amazing. It's one of my favorites. It's not like one of the scents that, you know, is going to last all day in your warmers, but it's really good while you can't smell it. This one is Ellen, which I believe is pink sugar with Jaws. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong. I love this. This is a beautiful Jaws blend. It's basically just Jaws with a really nice, sweet, almost powdery, sugary, sweet scent. It's beautiful, I love this. It's a great performer, it lasts, I mean, at least 24 hours. This has been a really good bathroom scent for me and I've also been putting it in my bedrooms and stuff and I really enjoy it. Um, okay. Oh, I didn't show you guys, I have a couple here from Ava's, but I'll show you guys those after I'm done with um, Super Tarts. So I actually warmed this, I think I warmed this yesterday. It's Crisp Breathe which I would assume it, it means, or it should be crisp breath, I don't know. But it's eucalyptus and mac apple. Oddly, y'all, I don't really get any of the mac apple in here at all, like zero. So I don't wanna say this is disappointing, but it kinda is, I guess. Um, I warm that in my bathroom, and for whatever reason, I can't smell it in the bathroom, but I can smell it in the hallway. That generally happens with my bathroom situation. Um, but yeah, it's just, it wasn't a favorite and I don't think it would be something that I would get again. This one is Felicity, which is coffee, cake batter, and cornbread. I mean, how does that not sound amazing? Um, and you know, with Super Tarts coffee, I'm not crazy about their coffee blends, I should say. And this might just be me in general. I don't know if I love like the super like foo-foo coffee scents. I think I like more straightforward. So just like a straight bakery with a straight coffee. I, and you know, I love bakery and coffee, but I don't need, you know, strawberry and marzipan and creme brulee, you know, like I just kind of like the more simple scents from Super Tarts for her coffee. And the one that I think I like the most to date is Office. That is, I think, my favorite. But on cold, judging this one by like cold sniff, I love this. It's really good. It's really nice. So I'm excited to try that one. You guys, this is probably one of my all-time favorite scents from Super Tarts. I don't know why I didn't get it in the pre-order for Wax Wednesday, but this one is called Sleep Tight. 
and you wouldn't think like how good could this be it's lavender strawberry and vanilla buttercream i don't know what magic happens in here but it is so good i don't know y'all it's so good and it's been so long since I've warmed this and I love it. I wouldn't say this is necessarily like a bedtime scent, um, but it's just so good. It's so good, I love it. I cannot wait to warm that, seriously. Okay, the two Avas that I have in here, this one is Aruba. And this reminds me a lot of um, the, what is it, 124 Conch Street scent from Rose Girls, but without the richness. Because I think the 124 Conch Street one from Rose Girls has the Gilligan's Brew in it. This is more fresh, so it's very similar in my opinion, but more fresh. I like it. It's not a favorite. Um, I'm just not really into those scents. I don't think, honestly. I don't think I am. Uh, this is strawberry jam and buttered bread. I have not tried this. I think from what I've heard from most people, this is um, mainly the buttered bread note, which I do get the strawberry jam on cold. It's good. Um, yeah, I like it on cold, so I'm excited. And you'll have to see my empties, but I did try. Uh, I warmed one of these bags and I ended up using like the whole bag so I cut these in um, to fourths and I didn't use every single warmer but um, I have like basically one and a half of these going in my living room dining room and then one half in my kitchen and it does great so anyways um, I'm excited to give that a try let me guys let me know if you guys like it um, I have one in here that's actually not in my basket. It's a retail wax. It's the Sugared Lavender Twist from, I think, yeah, Better Homes and Gardens. One of my all-time favorite lavender, just sugar scents. It is not herbal at all. It's amazing. I brought that with me to work. That's why I don't have it with me. But I also have Girlfriend Night in here, which I also love. Um, I feel like I'm talking really fast. I'm sorry. But um, I don't have a lot of time with my light because it's on a timer. Anyways, um, this is a favorite of mine. It's like a perfumey, berry, floral scent. Um, it actually says it's part of the floral category. Um, this reminds me of the Cactus Blossom from Bath & Body Works. I'm curious, if you guys have tried that candle and you've tried this too, I'm curious, do you guys think they smell kind of similar? Because I feel like they do. And um, this is one of my favorite scents from Walmart. It's really good. Another favorite of mine from Walmart. This is probably my most, well, it's in my, at least my top favorite scents from Walmart, probably in general, but especially during summertime. It's Coconut Vacay. This is lime and coconut to me. Um, it's amazing. And you know, lime and coconut, Cocoa Lime, Scentsy, are they the same? Not at all. Cocoa Lime from Scentsy to me is like more rich and this is like on the fresh side. This is like I'm having like a lime a coconut kind of drink or something like that on the beach. I like both a lot, but I might actually like this one more, I'll be honest. Um, but I still love Coco Lime, and this one is so good. So this is like, just kind of think of like lime and coconut, but like fresh, I guess. I don't know. But I love that scent. It's so good. And you just can't, you can't go wrong with retail wax. You know, I love it. Um, I haven't been over there in a while to get like a stock of Walmart wax just because I've been into vendor wax, but maybe one day here soon, I'll check and see what they have for fall. But um, anyways, that is my melting basket. Thank you guys so much for watching and um, I hope you guys have a great week. And I will, I hope to see you guys this weekend. I'll be filming a fall collection video of like all the fall wax that I have currently um and probably upload that sometime soon I would assume and uh yeah and I will be filming an empties this Saturday don't quote me on that though all right 
Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.